Hello, my name is Ala Yusinovsky. I have been a permanent makeup artist for 11 years and I have been training for the last six years. So today, myself and Olga Zabarova, who was one of my first students over six years ago, we wanna talk about our profession and we wanna talk about pros and cons. And the reason we wanted to do this interview, just to show you guys um, the pros and the cons of our craft, this profession, and her success stories, and she's willing to share with you. Okay, so tell me, Olga, what got you into the field of permanent makeup? I remember that time when I was ready to decide on a career path. A very important thing I knew for sure was that I wanted to help women enhance their beauty. That was the first and probably my main motive. To this day, I believe that modern permanent makeup techniques are a fantastic way to highlight and enhance women's appearance. Many women have no eyebrows or only partial brows, and permanent makeup definitely helps with that. Another significant factor for me was the ability to build a flexible schedule for myself and, of course, control my income. It was still was very important. Finally, when I first started doing eyebrows, which was eight years ago, the industry was young and undeveloped, but I quickly realized it had a great future. So I obviously had to jump in the game. That was the perfect timing to start. <laughs> so tell me, what did you do before you start doing permanent makeup? Well, I tried myself in sales for some time, but quickly realized that it was not my thing, so I soon left. I also tried my hand as a designer, creating made-to-order furniture and work in home and office space designs. Later on, while still in Russia, I entered the beauty industry and was hired as a lash technician in Moscow. So... When I first came to the United States, I began searching for beauty school in Ohio, and um, that's how I met you and decided to go through your courses. I'm very happy that I got certified in all three areas right away, eyes, eyebrows, and lips, and it definitely helped me to start growing my own business right away. So what are your achievements in the PMU industry since you took my class? After graduating from your school, I first had my own room, then later on moved to a new studio and started teaching. I've also developed online courses and now have hired employees who work in permanent makeup. So what are the benefits and the difficulties of the profession of PMU artists? First and foremost, I enjoy the flexibility of my schedule. This is the advantage. Secondly, there are plenty of opportunities to grow as a professional and increase income if that's what you really strive for, which I find to be very important. Another crucial aspect, in my opinion, is the network of contacts you make. It really benefited me when I first came to the United States. The permanent makeup community is filled with interesting and ambitious individuals. We got to tell our students what are the difficulties of our profession. What kind of difficulties have you faced yourself? You definitely must be able to set your own goals and then find ways to achieve them. This requires self-discipline, the strength to step out of your comfort zone, and the desire to develop leadership skills and use them. Practice, practice, practice. So what are the, the difference between the good and uh, not so good artist? Definitely the quality of work and service you provide. I would say it's also responsibility for your work, right? Mm -hmm. But what part of your job do you enjoy the most? What's your favorite? Well, it's no secret that we all desire financial freedom, which I believe is achievable and something I'm very happy about. Additionally, I have the opportunity to create and connect with so many new people, 
bringing satisfaction into my clients' lives and get really inspired when I see others happy. I can also see how the industry has rapidly grown over the years, encouraging me to myself learn new things and innovate. What do you think are the most important qualities for a permanent makeup trainer? I strongly believe that a trainer must be well qualified and experienced in the field. This allows them not only to demonstrate what to do, but also to teach what not to do. An experienced trainer has made all the mistakes and learned from them, which means that they can help their students avoid the pitfalls. It's also important for the trainer to have experience in teaching. If the instructor has conducted many training sessions, they can filter out unnecessary information and provide only the best to their students. Therefore, when you receive quality information, practice, support, it provides a strong foundation. What advice would you give to those who are in either considering a career in promote makeup or already sign up? What would be your personal advice and recommendation? I'm confident that the most important step is to choose the right trainer who will guide you through the world of permanent makeup and share their experiences. Make sure to evaluate their achievements and the quality of their work, as this is what they will be teaching you. Additionally, become confident in your own ability to succeed. Often, fear is what holds us back from trying new things. In your opinion, what is the biggest fear for students coming into our field of work? Probably the lack of knowledge initially. When I first went through your training, all my questions were addressed and I gained a thorough understanding of how the industry works in the United States. From my experience, from students that I get, the biggest fear um, they express is that they won't be any good and for that, you need to practice a lot, um, that they will not have clients. If you do a really good job and concentrate on the art, the clients will come. Um, that's not something you should be worried. What you should worry about is the quality of your productions. What do you think are the most important qualities for a PMU artist? I would like to highlight four things here. First and foremost, that self-discipline. Second, hard work and determination. Third, a crucial skill every artist should develop is a perspective vision. You should be able to visualize the final outcome. And finally, having a good taste and ability to notice details are skills that can and should be developed. I know about the previous one, um, I always tell my students, um, they go like, well, how do you know if the eyebrows will look good for this person and that? I'm like, while I'm looking and talking to them, I already drew all their makeup in my head on their face. You need to learn how to envision that. And I know if I want to do like, I already look at all their symmetry, they say, uh-huh, this brow is lower, this is higher, I need to even this. Like, I already have the picture in my head. All I have to do is just replicate it straight on their face. What advice would you give uh, to somebody who is actually considering uh, signing up for our training? And uh, just pick the top few. I encourage you to start right now. Don't hesitate. Manual techniques are still very new and will remain relevant for many years to come. It's a great investment in yourself and will quickly pay off. So I do want to finish this and wrap it up by um, telling our students that we are here to help. Majority of trainees to get one trainer and you get one look at the things and one kind of experience. Here we teach you a um, very unique way of different types of skills. Uh, we literally hold your hands through the process we give you a lot of information, a lot of skilled practice, which is essential in our field of work. Uh, you receive 
all the necessi uh, necessity, the supplies and machine, etc. But what's most importantly, we give you the um, support after you finish the training. We give you an opportunity to come in and practice more with us or do more practice with your clients. Um, we are booking our trainings. All the information is available on our website. If you have any questions, we're always here to help. Thank you.